<laughs> Morning guys, it's Monday morning, way day, I uh, put on a couple of pounds, that's not surprising given what I ate yesterday though to be fair and I think yesterday still shits over the scales fitting into those smaller pairs of trousers but yeah. Yeah, I come out for a run this morning. Uh, I uh, I seem to have my own little personal trainer this morning. Uh, I uh, run around the canal like I do, like I said before. And there was a guy on a little boat, like work, he works on the, with the council or something to do with the, like maintaining the canal or whatever. And I was sort of like racing him. Like, I was a little bit in front of him the whole time. He wasn't going very fast. I'm not like making out like I was proper racing him. He wasn't going fast at all. He was sort of like. Um, hanging behind me a little. I could hear him, but I didn't realise how like he close he was and he'd been watching me. And I stopped just because like my feet were really hurting, like the soles of my feet and bitting my ankles. Um, so I sort of stopped to take a bit of a breather, and uh, and he started cheering me on, as you'll see in the clip, because uh, I managed to record it. And uh, to be honest, it it, it helped. It's it, sometimes little words of encouragement like that make a massive difference because I was ready for coming off early and not running the, the long route that I took a few weeks back so you know I've kept going and uh, yeah it helped so uh, let's keep going and finish off and I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. Ooh. I just got home, oh, I'm not quite, I just thought I'd show you. This is, I used to walk up this when I get back from my run to get to have on the top of a fucking hill. So, I don't know who the right idea this was to live on the top of a hill. It definitely doesn't make things easy. But I'm really, really pleased with this morning. Because I think when I just checked, I've done just a little over four and a half K. And I'm sitting at about 50 minutes. So to say, I've walked for five minutes, and I'm probably walking five minutes now. I must have really, really upped my pace. God, I can't see him out of breath. And the fact that my hay fever is terrible and it's about 18 degrees, it's so hot, but I just seem to have so much energy and I just seem to be able to keep going and push past the pain in my legs and I wasn't feeling tired and really, really happy with that. So I've just got to the top of the hill and I've filled up my drink because I can kill, which doesn't help because it's really hot and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello, afternoon, and uh, it's Thursday, and I thought, like, I was feeling really motivated and really pumped after my run the other morning, because I absolutely smashed it, and um, I ran just shy of 5k, which I, t I told you about, and, you know, a pretty reasonable time as well, a lot better time than what I've done before. Yeah, so I sort of thought to myself, like, well, I'll, I'll come for another run. Um, you know, it's a couple of days later now, so I've had time to rest. I've not been to the gym. I didn't go, I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Um, and I can't remember the last time I went. But anyway, so, um, yeah. And I, I'm just absolutely done in today. Um, as soon as I started, like, I was out rest quicker. My legs were getting a bit sore already. Um, you know, my lower back is in agony, which I've had happen a few times when I've been running, but it doesn't happen all the time. And I'm sort of starting to come to the conclusion now, because obviously I was at work this morning, we're talking, you know, it's nearly seven o'clock now. Um, and uh, my job is pretty much an office-based job, where I'm sat down all day. So I've sort of looked into it to see if there's anything, you know, seriously wrong with, that could be wrong with my back. And it does say that actually if you're sat down, you know, for long periods of time, that that can impact it more than the actual physical activity itself. Because I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't be running then if I'm, you know, not doing my back any good. But apparently it could actually be the fact that I'm sat on my arse all day, which, um, you know, isn't really great. So yeah, like, I've, I've had to cut my run short, which is, it's really deflating to think I managed to run a whole 5k the other day. And then now I, I don't know how far I've... I've tried using my new Fitbit and there's an option on it where instead of using my phone to track it, I can connect my Fitbit to my GPS on my phone and just use the Fitbit. So I thought I'd try that and see if it works and I don't really get as much 
my insight into it is what I do when I use my phone. So I'm probably just going to carry on using my phone. I always bring my phone anyway because you never know, you know, if I if anything happened, I need to make a call or anything. So I'd never not come without my phone anyway. So it makes no difference. But anyway, yeah, it's, it is you know really deflating. But then at the same time, I wasn't even going to bother coming today anyway because I was so tired. Um, I was sort of torn between coming for a run in the gym and I thought, well, it's, it's a nice day, might as well come for a run. And I, like I say, I was feeling really positive and upbeat about, you know, my run last time. But obviously it's, uh, it doesn't apparently work that way. So unfortunately, it don't really seems to be one step forward and two steps back. So I don't really know what to do about that. But maybe I should just come running maybe once a week or do it and maybe I should just stick the mornings obviously then you know before I come to work maybe do it that way I have no idea but either way I'll uh, I'll figure something out because I enjoy running I know why would you not it's a beautiful day ready for the weekend uh, I've just got back from the gym I, I made normal clothes because I had to shower at the gym because we've got a plumber at our house so the water's not on at the minute so that's great I don't really like showering at the gym I find it a bit gross and a bit ugh, like sharing showers not literally sharing but uh, yeah I find it a bit weird but they were actually quite nice showers the first time I've, I've used those ones they were actually quite nice so yeah it wasn't as bad as what I thought and you genuinely wouldn't think it was raining when I left I mean like for real yeah, it's uh, but yeah, it's Friday, soon the weekend. Um, I've got quite a busy day tomorrow. I'm gonna go and get my hair done. I've got some like sort of like interview for somebody's podcast. Um, I'll uh, have the link down to that in the description probably. Um, 
depends on when it actually goes up if i get my video up first but regardless I'll, I'll let you guys know um one way or another about that um but i'm excited for that that's going to be done tomorrow and yeah i'm going to shoot off get ready for work now and i'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow oh so yeah uh, i've just been to the gym uh, i'm just on my way into town now to get my hair cut uh, i was planning on going for a run this morning but then uh, the uh, it's actually uh, a girl who I used to go to school with works at the gym and I, when I saw her there I was like, oh, we, we like, you do like personal training sessions so I kind of, you know, I've been, she texted me this morning and I was like, oh, I'll come down this afternoon so I did that and now I can't feel just about every limb in my body is on fire still so uh, really feeling good after that it's about to go and get my hair done so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit outside it has literally got a sweat on um but yeah this is the hair i did try showing you while i was outside um but it was way too windy um but this is my hair and then we've had a bit of a shopping spree as well so we've got well first off we've got dinner which is like a uh salad from the salad bar from the supermarket with a fruit smoothie this actually sounds really nice we've got raspberry blueberry uh cherries flax seeds Lots of good vitamins in there. Um, obviously, treats of Pauline. Bought her some pig's ears. Uh, are meant to be 100% natural, but they stink every time buying them. I bought this as well. I saw a guy with one of these in the gym. It's a massive water bottle. It'll be handy for when I'm at work. Um, and he told me where to go and get one from, so that's really kind of him. Um, this will be handy. I don't know if I'd take it to the gym. It's quite... It's not really something you can put in the treadmill slot thing so that's that and i think that is about it so i'm about to stuff my face because i've literally like not eaten yet today which is making me feel sort of sick um so yeah i'm gonna stuff my face and then i'll uh, see you guys in a bit okay so like i mentioned uh, we've got this like it's i don't know if it's an interview like uh, it's just for a podcast so it's kind of a bit like i'll be asked questions and stuff so yeah, this, this should be quite fun. It's something different. Um, so glad to just finally have sat down. Had a bit of a break today. It's been a bit of a busy day today, so I want to get this done and put my feet up. So uh, I might see if I can like film it a little bit, or I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I I did like a, a similar thing. Like I've tried doing it so many times before, like losing the weight, um, right. and it's sort of been an on-off thing for me. Like you were saying as well. Um, yeah. and I, uh, I've, I've done it where I've, you know, um, tried the whole juice thing. Well, I didn't go the juice thing. I tried the, uh, tried the shakes, um, right. and they, they work. Like I lost a heck, I lost, I'm going to say three stone, but I know you won't know what that means, but uh, what's I'm, that like? I'm actually, I'm actually looking it up. I know cause, uh, free, us freaking Americans that wanted to use our own system. What's that like? Uh, probably that. Well, it's probably about 40 pounds, I think, which is... Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm, con I'm converting it as, as we're talking. <laughs> and uh, and I, did, I did that for about a year, as well as going to the gym. You know, I wasn't just relying on, on the shakes, but um, it, it sort of got to the point where I stopped losing the weight and then started gaining weight, and then I started introducing a bit more food back into my diet, and then that was it. I was just straight back at square one again, um, probably even heavier than what I was before I started. Um, and I, I think you have, usually when, when, when you lose weight, at least, at least I've seen from other people and myself, when I lose weight the first time and then I, I kind of stop, the next time you gain, you, gain, you gain it back and a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah, but it is not only that, like obviously the, if you cut out food com like as much as what I did while I was doing those shakes, it is not the healthy way to do it and I, I learned I learned the hard way, like I'm pretty sure everybody does, and I think you have to make mistakes. Just right. in life in general, you have to make mistakes really to learn from them. And then and after that, I I I gave up because it, it's deflating when you start putting weight back on. Yeah. Yeah. So I I started again and was doing it the right way and exercising and just eating healthy. Um, and I did that, and then I lost another two stone. So 
like it's pretty much similar to what I'd yeah um, and then like sort of like the back end of last year just everything fell to shit again I got sick I was like passing out while I was going like while I was exercising because I just run right. myself into the ground that much I made me physically ill and then once I'd stopped doing the exercising it's so hard to start again so I I'd, I'd stopped and I just couldn't get going again and then the eating went after that and then I ended up putting you know all the weight back on and then I ended up ha like I split up with my partner at the time so I cancelled the wedding I had to move back home I changed my job and it was just my life was a mess for the last six months and it's only now I've sort of been able to focus on it and you know get back into the right mindset to be able to do it because as much as anybody can sit there and judge people and and think that it's easy to lose weight you just to eat healthy and it's it's so much more of like a mental battle than it is ever a physical one like I enjoy the exercise yeah. it's the eating is the hardest part like I can go to the gym but it still doesn't stop me wanting to eat well just eat normally like where I watch my friends go out and you know eat night eat food when they go out like have takeaways and fast food and stuff and you it's it's all like the pressure from that sometimes is is hard and the temptation there and you don't want to be like a party pooper you know when you go out with your friends and think oh I, I don't want to I don't want to eat when I go out do you know what I mean like it, it's hard and it is, it is. it's it's convenient as well to eat shit like that when you're out you know and it's it's not easy and I think a lot of people who have never been in in my situation and the same with other people as well they don't know how hard it is you know and it's so easy to judge you know but it's so this is what my Saturday nights generally consist of sitting here with Pauline and a cup of tea and I'm also watching the Easter eggs for charity stream that's pretty much my night tonight to be honest I freaking um still got all that black face mic shit all over my face but um it's really really good it's really helped i guess i was like getting quite bad oily skin i think it's from you know sweating when i'm exercising i always wash after i exercise obviously i'll always shower um but <laughs> yeah i don't know but that that face mask seems to have really helped i got the misfits one so uh yeah, go have a look at that because it's really, really worked wonders for my skin. So, uh, yeah, we're just having a pretty chilled night. And, yeah, I think I'm at work tomorrow, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! -bye.